Well, two Alabama deputies, sheriff's deputies, Zach Green and Stephen Moody, they're suing. They want their jobs back. And they're claiming their boss, the local sheriff, he fired them because they wouldn't provide him with confiscated marijuana. Now, we have an audio clip of the conversation that took place between deputies and Sheriff Hobby Walker. That's his name down there in Winston County. Take a listen. He's never by the well, well, <laughs> okay. If we, I've if been we get trying to that. get one for ever since well, I've been in office. And, we can't and this is going on through. eight months. We, if this girl house The through. woman's going to die before <laughs> I, you know. Well, you could hear the deputies identify that they knew of an illegal grow operation in Winston County. And then the sheriff making a case for why he needs this weed, his sick aunt who's dying. Elliot, just a few things here. I don't know if you speak Alabama English or not, but we could hear him saying on this tape, um, I need a little bit of dope, okay? I've been trying to get one ever since I've been in office. This has been going on for eight months. Poor thing. Yeah. I know. He's very upset about it. And the fact that these two guys were presumably fired because they couldn't confiscate the weed for their boss. What that's what they're alleging, that's right? That's what they're alleging. Um, you know, and, and the fact that one of them whipped out a cell phone and happened to record their mm. boss asking for the weed is, is probably not very good for Hobby Walker down there in Alabama. So what's the, what's the deal? Why couldn't poor old Hobby Walker's aunt go and ask for the weed? So there's no medicinal marijuana Alabama provision? Alabama has some of the strictest uh, marijuana laws in the country. Um, this uh, sheriff's office, the, the bust that they, that they do, the fact that these two deputies knew that there was a grow operation where the sheriff could get his hands on some weed mm. is very telling of the supply and demand issue that's going on in, in Alabama there. But what do you make of, of, of law? What, what this is, first of all, gonna, going to do to his image? His, his reputation, his for sure. Yeah. It's, it's done. Poor old hobby. He's Poor done, isn't hobby. he? Yeah, that's it. You, you feel done. for him, don't you? You He's do. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> having been said, I mean, it's naive. I mean, if you're being charitable, you'd say it was naive to go and ask these two deputies for where they can go and get weed. Well, they've got but, it on hand. They confiscated from... Look, he says yeah, but, that, you know, in May of 2015, one of them said that he took pot that had been confiscated and slid it into his desk, um, also saying that his aunt needed it. So they're, they're admitting their complicity in providing an well, illegal no, substance from a, from a previous drugs bust. They didn't admit this. So they confiscated the drug, and one of them had attested to the fact that the uh, d the sheriff actually took the drug and slid it in, in his personal desk. Okay, so they're throwing him under the bus. They okay. are. They gotcha. Are. The, the federal implications for poor Hobby Walker down there uh, remains to be seen. But look, very frustrating for him. He just wanted to get his hands on some pot.